solicitor. Uh, yeah, she had my uh, written report, uh, uh, hmm? picking up on talking about parts and whatnot. Somebody mentioned the, uh, the Baldwin uh, planning as, uh, as well. If you recall, we had kind of the next progression or two mini kind of comprehensive plans going, one on the Baldwin, the other up in the coastal area, you know, looking at ways to upgrade, update, uh, park in the whole kind of neighborhood atmosphere up in that area. And, because we're at the point now where we've kind of, if you recall, I guess we, we, we mentioned in town, they come up with a five plan, you kind of get a napkin sketch and then to finish the concept off and you fed it in terms of traffic circulation studies and, and whatnot. Um, it, it seems like you've coalesced on a potential concept, so if we take it out to kind of present the final <coughs> recommendation that this is something you'd like to present, it'd probably be appropriate to have us uh, Engage and get a, a traffic circulation study, see if what the potential concept is, kind of works. Um, relatively smaller project, it's a professional service, and if you wish, we could want to expedite and have it done relatively quickly. Um, you could have us get a couple of quotes, maybe not to exceed $5,000 uh, from a couple of offices. Um, and if you even want it, um, if, if the board was comfortable and wanted us to get in a position where we could get going, the council could have, say, a final selection from the at least two quotes that we would get uh, selected at the discretion of the council president. If he didn't if he wanted to have us get out and get it done and start going down the road or bring it back to your pleasure. All right. Go ahead. I'd make a motion for that. Okay. Second. Boy, can I ask a question? Sure. As far as other oncoming projects we have coming up like next year with Chuck Street, do we have the money right now to go for and do this stuff or we're gonna have to put it in the budget for next year? Well, as far as as uh, a traffic study, um, we have the money for that. Um, our because of projects that we did not have to do this year, we have money in capital improvement fund to move forward with a, a traffic study that would No, what I'm getting at is like, if we do the traffic study fine, but we don't necessarily have to do the project like- Right, we wouldn't have money no, to No, in fact, we wouldn't feel comfortable recommending it's even a viable concept until we would have it. And we had talked previously, and they've actually been before the wrong board, I apologize for you, where we had kind of anticipated once we kind of coalesced on the concept and you would have to go to get kind of beta testing before you, you brought it up. And Lord, that may actually earn you a bunch of person, but that would actually, this is kind of a soft part because EPD kind of hit the napkin mm -hmm. and this would fall under the same, you know, the, the zoning study that we're actually engaged in. Right. So. Yeah. And I think that that would probably be um, something that we would look at grants for. Just like I have a question. Did, what we're going to do is do a traffic study of the cool school area. The whole that park area and the circulation and how that would work with what the concept was as far as upgrading the park area and whatnot. Okay. I understand that, but we're in the middle of construction on the other side of the border. So I don't know whether our, I don't know whether the traffic study is going to be valid at this point until you get well, the house is up there that, um, well, this is independent of all of that. Um, well, but it's still, we're looking at traffic coming through that area. Of it, whatever that's going to be added to the traffic in the next few But they already next, know, they, the next year, so. they already know, you know, as far as I know, the traffic engineers work, they, they know what the well, yeah, well, you're going to tell me right now that we're going to trust the numbers that were put out there about the traffic no. coming from there? No. Don't want them. That's actually not what I said at all. I said oh, you said the traffic engineers already knew the numbers based on no, what we The traffic engineer that we would engage to look at our neighborhood would also have the total number of the housing stock that goes into there and whatnot. And this is more of a micro thing than our side of the record. So. My, my only problem with it is, is that I don't think the numbers would be correct. At this point. I don't think it would be either. Matter of fact, it's pretty much guaranteed it would. Yeah. Because you got construction traffic 
whether it's pickup trucks and that versus. This is a I have a point I need to back off. This is not like a strictly just a traffic study. It's a traffic and circulation study where the engineers kind of look at what it does or maybe talking about going up in that neighborhood in terms of the park circulation and making they when they they're not they're not going on just doing like circulation you know traffic count is not like a traffic count study which is the circulation study and traffic study based on um, post construction conditions that would occur and again this is not driven by construction this is driven by your 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 planning of that neighborhood i've been there you're tweaking the way traffic will circulate within that neighborhood. Yeah, we did the traffic study two two years ago or three years ago before we put the speed bumps in. So we have that traffic study already in place. Right, but that was not studying us looking at internal to that neighborhood and what would impact the micro circulation within in our neighborhood up on on Quick School Road. That wasn't the purpose of that. That was a, that that actually I believe was kind of geared towards impact of that development on the existing conditions. Well, that's the same as what this is, because the bottom line is we want to travel to study how much traffic you have coming through that area. Yes, Jim. May I suggest that we, we sit down and we develop a scope of what the study should be accomplished for the limits of the study before you go out and look up the proposals to do this work. Fair enough. And we're on the same page. Your apples now are on the same page. Repeat that again, Joe. So, uh, then we sit down and we define the scope of the limits of what the study is supposed to be before anybody goes out and looks for proposals. You know, so, so we know what we're asking. So okay. we're asking. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs> 